Hey guys, this is Sai Starcraft bringing you a tutorial video that you guys have been asking for for a couple of days now. It's going to be covering kiting, um, a little bit of micro, some baneling use, and some investor use as well. And a uh, couple disclaimers, this is against a computer player. This is not going to represent actual player micro, although the situations will translate to real games. So this will still be helpful and although it won't be quite as easy as it's going to look like in this video, you can still use these tactics. And also, this is the first time I have loaded this map so hopefully everything goes smoothly and it doesn't make me look like an idiot, but let's get started. First of all, we have four lings against one zealot, very common situation especially against uh, early ling harasses like ten pools or uh, just uh, if you do manage to get some lings into their base or if there is an encounter in the middle of the battlefield. So. We're just going to approach this zealot. The zealot isn't going to micro, it's just going to auto attack. And what you're going to do is pull away every zergling as it gets weak. So watch as I do this. Weak zergling, I'm going to click, pull it away, bring it back. Hold shift, pull them both away. Hold shift, pull them all three away. Go in. Four on one, didn't lose a single zergling. They all uh, have one shot left. This guy had, looks like, yeah, about one shot left. He got hit with a half attack. But you see what I did is weak zergling, pull away, bring back. Now you want to hold shift and you want to pull back all your weak zerglings because if you just like bring it back and then you pull that away another weak one, what if he goes back to attacking this one? This one will die. So that's why you want to pull them both away then pull all three away and then by then the zealot's dead. So let's try a three on one and see if this will, if we can kill a zealot with three zerglings. Uh, very tricky. Let's see if we can pull it off. He's attacking the middle one first and I'm going to do it very fast. You'll see. Uh, didn't pull that one away, so you see what happens when I don't pull it away is uh, it does bite you in the ass. The zealot survives with 36 hit, hit points, but uh, would have been pretty close. I just kind of messed up. So let's do a six zergling against one zealot. This is a common situation in a ten pool situation. Very simple. It's similar to the last situation. You're just going to be pulling away all your weak zerglings, and there it is, uh, surviving with six zerglings, which is very very important. You don't just want to neglect the micro because you're no, you know you're going to win the battle because these zerglings are going to live to harass the drone lines in a 10 pool. So very nice to have all six of those zerglings alive. Now we're going to try eight zerglings against two zealots. This is a little more difficult just because there is more going on. Notice I do save two lings and uh, he focuses one of my weak ones. And I live with six zerglings left so three zerglings with one shot left is very nice. I don't mind losing a couple in that situation. Six or eight on two, survive with six zerglings. Very nice. Next we have seven. Oh, there looks like there's a, one of them stuck up there. So let's try a seven on two, see how this goes. Getting a little bit careless up at the, this top one. Uh, just because I didn't pull all the weak ones away and so when they refocus the other weak ones they died but 7 on 2 still surviving with 2 zerglings pretty decent micro could have done a little better there now we're going to do roaches 6 on 6 what you do with roaches is pretty much uh, you don't really want to focus fire another enemy's roach unless you do have very small numbers like this um, just because it's a lot of movement that your roaches will have to do to like go down and all focus the same one and they die so fast so in this situation it might be a good idea to focus on individual roaches but I'm just gonna attack command and show you the general mic microing technique um, of pulling away weak roaches so here we go let me get the spread that the computer has here and I'm just gonna attack command and I'm gonna keep my alt button down and keep an eye on weak roaches so it looks like the top and bottom ones are both getting focused so once they're uh, weak I'm gonna pull them away bring them back in now it looks like this one's getting focused pretty hard and this one. So pull them away, bring them back in. It's very similar to the Zealot Micro, but uh, didn't quite get to that one in time. You'll see that I survived with five roaches, should have been six, and he lost all six of his roaches, so very effective, very reminiscent of what I just did here. Now we have a little bit of a kiting tutorial. Very simple uh, roach versus zealot kiting, especially when you have glial reconstruction, which is the move speed upgrade, which these roaches do have. Huge number of zealots, but they're just not fast enough to deal with these roaches. What I am doing is moving, attacking. Moving, attack, moving. And I'm only doing attack once. I'm not spamming it. Moving, attack, moving. And the key to this is to move right when the attack animation starts. So attack animation starting, moving. Starting, move. You don't have to like watch them finish it. You can just kind of tell them to do it and then move right away. You see that? And you don't always have to attack command. You can just uh, stop. 
You can hold position, although I don't recommend that one. You can attack towards them. You can attack away from them. And uh, the one I like the best is probably attacking uh, away. Just because once the zealots do die, your roaches will be moving uh, you know, away from them where they want to move. So there is the roach micro and imagine how easy this would be on creep with this upgrade. Not so good against zealots with charge, but uh, again, this is just giving you the basics of the micro. Now we have six, 16 roaches against 12 stalkers, and this is going to be kind of the hit and run tactic. What you want to do against stalkers is you want to get in their grill, and you want to get right inside of them, and so you will always be in range of them. But you don't just want to right click right here. You don't want to attack command. You want to ease your way in. You're going to be attacking out here, moving up, attacking from in here, and then hopefully you'll have a nice little surround to attack them with. So uh, I'll show you kind of how to do this. Let's get a little bit of a spread on these stalkers. Alright, so a first attack, now move in, second attack, now move in, and look at that, just in three attacks you've got a nice little surround going here. They can't really go anywhere, this is a nice number of stalkers, so they're doing pretty good. I'm not bothering to focus any of them down, but I'm still going to win this battle. Uh, Roach is very powerful once they're able to get in range, but notice how I didn't close in all at once, I kind of eased my way into them, so there is that. Banelings, banelings are pretty simple. Uh, there's really no best way to micro banelings, but I'll show you the way I like to do it. Um, a lot of people will just kind of give them the attack command. See how well that does. Um, not too well, 5 marauders and 2 marines remaining. What I like to do is uh, because banelings can do damage even if they're killed, I just like to move where I want the banelings to be and let the uh, enemy kill them and do the damage to themselves. So you'll watch, I'm not going to be giving any attack commands. I might right click a unit on occasion, but I'm just going to be moving where I want them to go. I want them to go on the other side of these units, move them in, now I want them to go down a little bit. So, okay, those marines are dead, up a little bit, but uh, four marauders compared to uh, five marauders, but the marauders are a little bit weaker, it's pretty close, but uh, these marines have full health. That's just what I like to do, it gives me a little bit more control over those banelings, although that wasn't uh, very good representation of that because there was only one less marauder but you get the idea give me a break next we've got banshee micro kind of out of the norm but i just think microing banshees is awesome first let's just send them at the enemies and see how well they do not too well marines do pretty good against banshees without any micro now let's see how well you do with micro and the, what you're going to do with banshees is uh pretty tricky to master but i'll show you the idea you're going to get an attack off and immediately run away and as you're running away they kind of float and you can tell them to attack again and they'll attack as they're floating away if you do it right they won't even be able to get in range of your banshees because uh, banshees have six range marines only have five so you're basically uh, attacking moving away and then attacking again while floating There we go, that's a good one. Still pretty tough to pull off, but I mean, compared to this over here, it's a lot better. Three Marines left, so not too bad. I am not a good Banshee Micro, so do not pay attention to that too closely. Now we're going to get into Infestors. There is a Protoss army sitting in here, and more than anything, the key to Infestors is positioning them properly. You don't really have to have like tons of fast key clicks or anything like that, but one good way to position them is up on a hill. Of course, this is a very accurate representation because I did make a ramp, and uh, we're going to be assaulting a Protoss army. These Infestors do have full energy. So first of all, you're going to want to get whatever uh, Fungal Parasites you can off, and then you're just going to... Uh, take over the big units from the hill pretty much what makes this very good is that uh, once you control the colossi they cannot see up this hill to kill your infestors so very nice to have that so uh, pretty simple there just go up on a hill and neural parasite but sometimes you don't have them a uh, hill to be up on and you're kind of bogged down by your own units so if this is the case and you can't reach the colossi you're gonna want to move these forces up to make room and then neural parasite there we go and uh, these infestors are a little bit vulnerable, but uh, that's really the only way you can pull this off 
is just to move one section of your army a little bit closer and move in your infestors. Finally, we have Ultralisk Micro. So we're going to see how you micro Ultralisk against uh, Broodlings, which is a very common unit for the Zerg army to go up against. Ultralisk against Broodlings. So what you want to do with Ultras is just uh, attack, move, and then just watch them like kill the enemy. So we'll see that here. Um, well, shit. Uh, that didn't really go too well. I did lose a lot of Ultralisks, but you can see just how strong Ultras are against Broodlings. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching.